Hey guys, it's Jasmine. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite pieces of clothing because a lot of you guys have asked. I honestly have no clue how to film a fashion related video. I love watching like best dressed videos and she does it so well. I don't know how she does it. All I know is that I have a huge pile of clothes on my bed that I'm going to have to clean later, but it's okay. Also, the sun today is so bright, but I can't go out. I woke up because it was so hot. <laughs> in my room and i was like what is this my style has evolved quite a lot i remember i dressed super art ho style like tumblr art ho style and then i went to like looking like a girl on the farm like vintage stuff and then i went to i don't even know so how i would describe my style right now i honestly don't even know I just know it's very comfortable because I prefer comfortable clothing, like comfortable oversized clothing over tight clothing. But I do like wearing tight stuff on days where I'm like, Anyways, I'm just gonna jump right into the video and show you guys what I've been loving to wear. So in no particular order, and I'm probably gonna go through it really fast just because I don't really know how to describe clothing. Like, it's just there. It's on me. First off, I'm gonna talk about sweatpants. I love wearing sweats. This is all I've been wearing the past two weeks at home because they're just so comfortable. You can literally go to bed wearing them and then wake up still wearing them throughout the day, which is what I've been doing. My sweatpants are all from Brandy. I have three colors, which is black, gray, and green. I actually have two pairs of the black and gray one because I use the other two pair for painting and there's a lot of paint on them, but I, I think that looks kind of aesthetic. But these are my clean ones. I feel like it's very easy to style sweatpants because some days I'll just wear a big oversized hoodie over it like, or like a big sweater. But I also like to wear like tanks or like other kind of like tighter, smaller tops with sweatpants just to like accentuate my body and like provide more contrast. I don't know what I'm talking about. I put a plant over here so that it would make my shot less boring. But it's not even in the shot, so let me just move it. So when I choose clothing, I'm normally drawn to like muted toned down colors, black, white, and also most importantly, green. I am in a green phase right now. I love green. I'm gonna be like that green lady when I'm like 90. So my sweats are from Brandy and I also have a lot of basic tops from Brandy. I'm not gonna show you guys these one by one just cause I'm pretty sure that you guys can find these tops on Brandy. They're perfect for lounging around, doing nothing. Staying in bed all day. There are days where I wake up and I'm like, maybe I should put on makeup and make myself look decent. There are also days where I literally look like I just got out of bed and I always wear these tops. Having like basic tops, it's really easy to pair with other stuff. You don't even have to think you're saving like brain cells here. And I also like to wear these tops under other stuff, so like sweaters, because during winter, it's kind of cold in New York. I don't know where my thermal tops are. I swore I packed them in when I moved to this apartment in the summer, but I can't find them and I'm too lazy to buy more thermal tops. So I've just been wearing these under, it's like still kind of cold, but it's fine. But also when you go to like a room where it's warmer, you can just strip off your sweater and then have this under. Now I'm gonna move on to my biggest category, sweaters. They just make me feel so warm inside, so cozy and small. Actually, it's like, a cardigan, but I just wear it as a sweater. So this sweater is from Alan, and it's located in Brooklyn. It is a Korean store. To me, Alan is like the Asian version of Aritzia or like Urban Outfitters, basically. I love this sweater so much. I love the pattern design on this. They look like little flowers and it's also pretty good quality. I don't really wash my sweaters that much because I don't really have body odor, nor do I sweat because it's winter and it's cold. And also you're saving water by washing your stuff less. This sweater fits very oversized on me and I just love pairing it with wide leg jeans or you know, sweatpants. This cardigan is from Unif and I usually wear it just as a sweater. This sweater, is so warm and also it's green which i love i didn't expect it to be this warm i wore this to a rave during the winter thank god i wore something under because i was like <laughs> so hot <laughs> this sweater i think it looks really nice with a pair of gray sweatpants this is a cream cardigan sweater thing from ritzia i don't really shop at ritzia just because i think the stuff there is kind of overpriced 
But when I was shopping at Aritzia, this girl kept telling me how good it looked on me. So I was like convinced to buy it, which I guess that's their job. I really like the silhouette of this piece. It's kind of tight around the waist, even though it's very comfortable and stretchy. And I also like the low v-neck. I normally wear a bralette under just because I don't want to expose my nips by accident. But yeah, it's super comfortable. White is a very, very um, dangerous color for artists to wear because I got to paint on too much stuff. And I also love the balloon sleeves of this. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to describe pieces of clothing. <laughs> this sweater, I am pretty sure that you guys have seen me wear this in almost every single one of my vlogs the past few months because I love it so much. I love the design on it. There's like yarn coming out. So even when the yarn like kind of breaks, like here, it looks like kind of normal. This sweater is from Style Nanda and it is also a Korean brand. When I first started shopping on Style Nanda, I actually didn't think their clothing was good quality. They have some good quality clothing and some bad quality clothing. And it's really up to how good your eye is for spotting that out. But I think their sweaters are pretty decent. Also, I was watching a vlog with Sean from CLC and there was a vlog where Minnie was there and she was wearing the brown version of the sweater and I was just like... <laughs> like I said before, I love muted toned down colors and I also love how the bright blue and red kind of contrasts with everything but still the overall vibe of this is like toned down. This next cardigan that I wear as a sweater is thrifted from Depop. It is vintage by United Knitwear Co. It is a cream color and it has pastel flowers on it. I think I mentioned in a previous video that I was also in a bit of a pastel phase which is why I got this. This sweater is kind of itchy, honestly. So I normally wear one of the basic brandy tops inside just because the yarn kind of irritates my skin. Look at the flowers, they're so cute. This next sweater is by Virgo Knits on Instagram. Her name is Erin and she hand knits all these sweaters with 100% recycled wool, which I find amazing because I cannot knit. But I love the purple detail to this sweater. So cute. Um, I need to um, clean this later. The sweater 100% wool which means that it is very very warm during the winter i didn't have to wear this with a jacket i just wore this and like a top under and it just went out and it was fine and it was warm i also bought a pastel sweater from her which should be coming soon and i'm very very excited for it this sweater is also from style nanda as usual it is green because i love green <laughs> this sweater is also oversized on me during winter i was really into animal prints <laughs> which leads me to this card again this is a very, very large oversized cardigan, which is also from Style Nanda. This cardigan is so cute. It's so big on me and the sleeves are like so fat, <laughs> so chunky. I also wear this a lot when I just go around the house. The sleeves are kind of big, so I kind of knock into stuff. This sweatshirt is deconstructed and reconstructed by Mija Park. I love the white contrast stitching of it. And with this sweater, I normally wear a shirt under because it's really low v-neck. But I think that now it's warmer. Not like I could go anywhere, but I would pair it with like a bralette or like a sports bra under. I talked about sweatpants when I started this video and I never talked about other pants. So I used to love wearing skinny jeans, but they're so skinny like why are they so tight? I can't breathe. And during my art hoe phase, I really like to wear mom jeans. I don't really like how it fits on my body. So now I really like to wear wide leg jeans. And my favorite pair is by Urban Outfitters. I normally go to Urban Outfitters to shop for jeans. I have a lot of jeans from Urban Outfitters, but this one is my favorite. And also because it's really hard for me to find a pair of jeans that fit me the way I want it to be. And that is also an okay price, which is why I always go Urban Outfitters. I've literally said Urban Outfitters like 50 times already, I feel like. But yeah, these jeans are so nice. They are perfectly cropped for my height. I'm not that tall. I'm like five foot 3.75. I also really like the wash of these jeans. These are medium washed, I believe. I also really like light washed jeans, but I don't really like dark washed denim. I like black denim, but medium light washed denim is the best for me. And these also fit around my waist area very nicely. There's like room for me to eat and have a very big food baby. So those aren't the only pair of jeans that I own. I also own quite a few others. I was going to share another one with you guys, but I literally dug through my bathroom and my closet and the laundry machine and the living room and i could not find it so i have no clue where that pair is this very wrinkled pair of pants 
I should probably iron these. These are from Style Nanda and I love the color of this. I think it's very hard to find a pair of pants with this color. This is also very comfortable. It's like an upgraded version of sweatpants. I'm gonna say it. It makes my butt and legs look good. They make my legs look longer than they really are. And I think it's because they're so long, which is why I normally roll it up when I wear it. And I wear like a oversized sweater over it. There's a stain on here. I didn't realize I need to clean that. Now I'm going to go into more springtime, summertime clothing. My first one is a neon green top from Style Nanda again. I really like to shop there. This top is so fucking neon green, but I love it. <laughs> I think it looks very good with my skin tone and I also love how it looks like lettuce. It's so crinkled. It's so bouncy. <laughs> oh, for this top, I also like how you can wear it like this or like that. A lot of my summer tops are like that, like this one. You can wear it like this or you can wear it like that if you want to be more scandalous. And I also have this balloon sleeve top from China. It was from a shop in the 798 art district i think if you guys watched my lookbook video from a few months ago i was wearing it i love the balloon sleeves of this and the sweetheart neckline i feel like it makes my collarbone area look very good the balloon sleeves are so puffy <laughs> i think you can dress this up or dress this down with like a skirt or like pants but like i said before white is a very dangerous thing for me to wear i'm normally pretty scared to wear my white tops just because i'm like oh my god i'm gonna get them stained this top is from Kalina Strada, New York. I got it on Depop and I was in a bit of a tie-dye phase. I love the colors to this t-shirt. I wore this a lot because it's like an upgrade from a basic tee. It makes me look like I have nipple piercings. Speaking of nipple piercings, I was wondering if I should get them. I've been thinking for the past year whether or not to get nipple piercings, but I heard this really scary story about them, so I've decided I'm not. So it's okay, don't worry mom. But yeah, all my friends that saw me wore this, they're like, wait, you have nipple piercings? Cause they thought I moved it through the shirt or some shit. <laughs> now I'm gonna talk about dresses. I have two favorite dresses. This one is from Brandy Melville and it is a leopard print, I believe. This dress is very silky and it's surprisingly decent quality. During the spring, summertime, I would wear it as just a regular dress. But during fall, winter, I wore this as a top because since it's so thin, it's so easy to layer. And I would wear this tucked into pants and then I would wear like a long sleeve top under and then pair it with like a jean jacket or something. This dress is a green slip dress. It's actually very short, so I don't really wear it out. I just wear it at home when it's like not that cold and I just want to lay around. I love this green color. It's so pretty. This is vintage. I thrifted this on some vintage website, I believe, and it's by Victoria's Secret. And I also love the neckline of this. I wore this dress out once and it was so short. I was just like, oh my God, I'm like gonna have an accident somewhere here at one point in time. But I will admit it looks very good with platform heeled boots, but just be careful if you're wearing like a really tiny slip dress outside. But like with the other dress that I just talked about, I also wear this tucked into my pants when I'm feeling fancy and I just put a top under. Layering is key. Layering is so important. Now I'm gonna move into jackets. I have three main jackets. I have quite a lot of outerwear, but out of everything that I have, these three are my favorite. This very complicated looking jean jacket is from Harajuku. It was pretty expensive. Um, when I saw it at the thrift store, I was just like, that's so pretty, I need it. If I left without buying it, I would keep on thinking about it. This thrift store was very interesting because they thrifted everything and then they deconstructed and reconstructed it into their own stuff, which I love. And for this one, I'm pretty sure it's made out of like three different jackets, but I love the like fluffy green camel detail to it. This jacket is very oversized. <laughs> it makes me very clumsy. Like the sleeves are so big. That I've knocked over like so many things with it, but I think it looks so good. <laughs> this jean jacket is also very warm, but I'm like kind of scared to wear this because I feel like I'm gonna keep on knocking stuff over because it's just so floppy, but it looks so good. <laughs> the next jacket that I have is this oversized jacket from Brandy Melville. It is white, so dangerous but I love wearing white. But yeah, I've been wearing this a lot the past few days if it gets a bit colder in my room because I'm like wearing a tank top or something. I just put this on and it's so comfortable, so soft. I think if I pair this with like a tight top and like baggy pants, it would contrast the outfit very well. This beautiful toned down 
green green pattern jacket is from Stel Nanda. It is so warm. Oh my god. When I wear jackets, I normally wear the same exact jacket for like two weeks and then change to another jacket for like two weeks. It's just because I just put my wallet and like everything in here and then I'm just like too lazy to change it out. So I just wear the same thing. I just love it so much because it's green. <laughs> I wore this like every day for like the past two weeks. I just talked about all my clothing favorites and I'm gonna move on to the last item, which is the scarf. Scarves are normally like accessories. But like this scarf is so big and so colorful. I feel like when I wear an outfit with it, this is the outfit. Like the main point is the scarf. The scarf is from Acne Studios. Um, every Asian in New York has an Acne Studio scarf. This was a little bit expensive, but I think it's worth it because I love the colors on here. It's so pretty. And the scarf is also very, very warm. I was gonna wear this more during the winter, but I was just too lazy to put this scarf on. This scarf is gonna be with me for a very, very long time. And there will be more chances for me to wear her in the future. Anyways, this is the end to my favorite clothing items video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I also want to mention that I am not bragging about the clothes that I have. I just want to share what I loved with you guys. And I also wanted to provide assistance for those looking for inspiration. But yeah, if you guys have any other questions concerning stuff that I didn't discuss, please comment them down below and leave any other videos you would like to see. And I will see you very soon. Bye! Do 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 do.